Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this super cute crochet beanie. To make this project, all you're going to need is a weight 3 yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle. Now let's go ahead and get straight into it. So to start off this project, you're going to need to make a magic circle. And if you need some assistance with making your magic circle, I'll make sure to link a in-depth tutorial in the description for you. Once your magic circle is done, you're going to go ahead and chain two. Now for our first round, what you're going to do is you're going to put 12 double crochets into your magic circle. So yarn over, go into your circle and pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over again and pull through the remaining two loops. And I'm just going to keep repeating this until I have 12 double crochets. And that initial chain two we did does in fact count as our first double crochet. So it's really you doing 11 double crochets and then there's your chain two, if that helps. Okay, so now I'm just going back to count and make sure that I have 12 stitches. You should be able to go back and count 11 double crochets plus that chain two, which is going to count as our 12th double crochet. And I happen to have one extra, so I was just taking that away. And then you're going to close up your circle by pulling the tail end of your work, and it should like close like nice and tight. And then to close off this round, you're going to want to slip stitch like into the second chain of that chain two. So slip stitch in there, and then you're going to chain one, and make sure you pull it really tight so you don't mistake that as a stitch later on. And then that's the end of round one. Moving into round two, we're going to put two double crochets into each of our 12 stitches. So by the time we make it around the circle, you should have 24 stitches in total. So yarn over and then into the exact same space that you just slip stitched into, you're going to put your first two double crochets. And then in every other stitch around the circle, you're gonna put two double crochets into all those stitches. And if it helps, you can put a stitch marker on the last stitch if, you know, you have a hard time remembering where your last stitch is, or you could put it on um, the first stitch of, or excuse me, the first double crochet of the round if that helps too. But go ahead and put two double crochets into all of your remaining stitches and I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I'm now at my last stitch of this round, so I'm going to go ahead and put my two double crochets in there. And then to end off this round, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my first double crochet of this round. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to pull it nice and tight. And then that's the end of round two. Now going into round three, we're going to start off with one double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase, which an increase is two double crochets. So in that next stitch, I'm putting one double crochet and then my second double crochet. And that's going to be the repeat for this round. So in the next stitch, put two double crochet, or excuse me, in the next stitch, put one double crochet, and then the stitch after that, put two double crochets, which is your increase. So that's what this round's repeat is, one double crochet in the first stitch, and then an increase in the second stitch. And just keep repeating that until you get all the way around to the end 
of your circle. I'll meet you guys there. I'm now at my last stitch of this round, which is my increase. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two double crochets into that last stitch. And then to end off this round, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my first double crochet of this round. And then I'm going to chain one and pull that nice and tight. And now that is the end of round three. So for round four, we're going to start off with one double crochet into that very same stitch that we did our slip stitch into and we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch and then in the third stitch we're going to do our increase so two double crochets into that third stitch and then that is the repeat for this round so one double crochet into each of the first two stitches and then an increase in the third stitch so continue on with that pattern until you reach the end of this round and you should be ending off with your last stitch being your increase stitch. So I will meet you guys there. All right, so I'm at the end of this round, and as you can see, I have one stitch left, and this is my increase. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my two double crochets in there. And you should be able to count 44 stitches in this round. So if you need to, you can go back and count those. But to end off this round, I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the top of this first double crochet that I did for this round. And then I'm gonna chain one and pull that nice and tight. Now for round five, you're going to put one double crochet into your first three stitches. And always remember your very first stitch goes into the same space that you just slip stitched into. So it's one double crochet into the first three stitches and then you'll do your increase in the fourth stitch. And that is going to be the repeat for round five. So one double crochet into the next three stitches. So that's our first. There's our second. There's our third. And then in this fourth stitch, we increase. So two double crochets. So keep repeating that until you get to your last stitch, which should be your increase. And I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so something happened and I lost a portion of this clip, but once you get to the end of round five, you just do the same to end off the round, slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet of that round and chain one, and then you'll move into round six. And your repeat for round six will simply be one double crochet into your first four stitches and then an increase in your fifth stitch. So by the time you reach the end of round six, you should have a total of 66 stitches. You can go back and count them if you need to, um, but the video will start back up at the end of round six. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, so now I'm at the end of round six and I have my last stitch, which is my increase. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my two double crochets in there. 
and then I'm going to end off this round by slip stitching into the top of that first double crochet of this round, chain one, and pull that nice and tight. Now moving into round seven, we're going to start off with one double crochet in the first five stitches, and then we're going to be putting an increase in the sixth stitch. And always make sure that your first double crochet of the round is done in the same space that you just slip stitched into to end off the previous round. So I just finished doing one double crochet into the first five stitches and now I have to do my increase. And that is your pattern for round seven. So continue doing that until you get all the way to the other end of the circle. Your last stitch once again should be an increase. So keep going and I'll meet you guys at the end of this round. All right, now I'm at the last stitch of this round and I have to put my increase here. So I'm gonna finish off by putting my two double crochets into this last stitch. And then I'm slip stitching into the top of this first double crochet of this round to close off this round, chaining one, pulling that tight. If you would like your hat to be wider, it is at this point where you would want to add an extra round or two of increases. So if you care to do that, you want to do that now before we move into round eight. So go ahead and place this on top of your head so you can see about how wide your hat will be. And remember it should be fitted and it will stretch a bit so you don't want to risk making it too big. But if you feel like you need an extra row of increases, it's at this point where you'd want to do that. So we are now done with adding increases to our rounds. So for the next six rounds, we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch. So I'll do this first round with you. So in the very same stitch that we just slip stitched into, put your first double crochet. And then in every remaining stitch, put one double crochet. I'll meet you guys down at the end of this round. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the last few stitches I have in this round, putting one double crochet into each stitch. And then all I have left to do is just slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of this round. And then I'm gonna chain one and pull that tight to end off this round. All right, so that was our first round with no increases. You'll see the edge starts to curve up a little bit. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to do the exact same thing for five more rounds, putting just one double crochet into each stitch. So I'll let you guys go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you after you've finished up your six rounds of no increases. All right, so I'm at the end of my sixth round of no increases, and if you go back and count how many rounds you have in total, this is round 13. So I'm finishing this off by slip stitching into the top of my first double crochet of this round and chaining one, pulling that tight. Now we're moving into round 14, which will be the start of our cute little mesh pattern. So for this round, you're going to start off by putting one double crochet into the very first stitch, which is the same stitch that you just slip stitched into. And then you're going to chain one and skip the next stitch and put your double crochet into the following stitch after that. And that is going to be your repeat for this round. So one double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the following stitch and continue that on. I will meet you guys at the end of this round.
Okay, so I'm finishing up the first round of this little mesh pattern. So let me put my last double crochet in there, chaining one. My last stitch is one that I'm skipping, and I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet from this round. And then I'm gonna chain one and pull that nice and tight. And so for the next three rounds, you're just going to repeat what we just did in round 14. So put one double crochet in the very first stitch, which should sit right above the double crochet from the previous round. Then you're gonna chain one, and then just skip that chain one space from the previous round, and then put your next double crochet in the stitch that sits right above the double crochet from the previous round. And we wanna make sure that we have four rounds of this mesh pattern. So as you continue to work with this little mesh pattern, this is what your work is going to start to look like. All we're doing is putting a double crochet over top the double crochet from the previous round and separating them all by a chain one. And it makes this little box look. So go ahead and continue on with your mesh pattern for four rounds and I will meet you guys once those are done. I'm now finishing up the end of my fourth round of this mesh pattern. So I'm just slip stitching into the top of the first double crochet of this round, chaining one and pulling that nice and tight. And here you can see what the four rounds of your mesh pattern look like. Only three more rounds to go, but this time we're gonna put one double crochet into every stitch. So one double crochet into that very first stitch. Then one double crochet into the chain one space. One double crochet into the next stitch. And one double crochet into the chain one space. So go ahead and repeat that until you reach the end of this round. All right, I'm just finishing up by putting one double crochet into the stitch above my previous round's double crochet. 
as well as one double crochet in that chain one space and then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my first double crochet of this round and I'm going to chain one and pull that work nice and tight and then for my last two rows we're going to do the exact same thing we did for the previous round so put one double crochet into every single stitch in the round I'll meet you guys once that's done All right, so I just finished my three rounds of just putting one double crochet into every single stitch. And now I'm grabbing my scissors and I'm cutting my work and I'm pulling that yarn tail through like nice and tight. And then all I have left to do is take my darning needle and weave in the loose ends on my hat. So the one at the base where we first started and then this one at the end, and then I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoy your crocheted beanie. Make sure you like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you tag me in any photos on social media that you post of your hats, I'll be sure to give them a like. And real quick, I just want to show you what my hat kind of measured out to be. So the bottom width was like 11 inches, going up a little bit higher towards the base of my hat, it was about 8 inches. And then measuring straight down, it was like 7.5, which I don't know why I didn't get the tape measure for this part, but it's okay. It's 7.5 inches tall. But that's all for this week's video. I will see you guys soon with another one.